breaking news everyone and girl i mean usually i give you like news news today i wanted to use the breaking news segment to talk about something specifically and it is the end of the real housewife of new jersey we need to talk about it uh kind of like a recap situation but i'm not gonna go through the whole episode of course we just need to talk about what's really important okay i i have to tell you this franchise has mean so much to me i have loved new jersey for a very long time i am a tree hugger until there is no tomorrow i am a supporter of jennifer aiding i love dolores catania you know and i feel that those three are a perfect anchor moving forward you know as we have talked before we don't know what is going to happen with new jersey it's officially going on pause until 2025 we don't know if it's going to be a reboot, a cast shakeup, or even a cancellation of the show. Everything is possible at this point, right? Um, I don't know if you saw a TikTok that I did and I put on, on my social media, also on Instagram, where I was telling you guys, I hope that you really look at this last episode in a very different way because it is the first time that we might be saying goodbye to these girls forever, you know? When we watch New York, like, the all new york and we saw that last season we were in our minds we were like this is a mess boring whatever you want to say it but we thought that they were going to come back and we lost everything like this no more luan de Lesseps, no more sonia morgan no more ramona singer the possibility of dorinda Melly returning like we lost it all you know and that's why we were so shocked you know but on this this time with new jersey we know that this is the end we know that it is what it is, right? So I was like, I, I, I told you guys, watch this episode and be ready to say goodbye at the end of the episode because we really don't know who is returning or even if anyone is returning, okay? So I'm hoping that that kind of like means something to you. Now, you know, I love Teresa. I have been following her cases and everything like as much as I can. I know a lot of things that a lot of people don't know out there. A lot of information that have been out there. We, I mean, I have not wanted to get into this whole blogger mess, you know, that has been going on with some bloggers because there has been a spreading so much bullshit and so much, so many, many, many lies, you know, and they are working with Margaret Josephs. And we know, I mean, you know, my opinion is that Margaret Josephs has been behind everything for a very, very long time. It has been years of her being basically the Lisa Rena of uh, New Jersey, you know? And I like I was like, I am tired, you know? This have to come to an end, right? Now, my thing is, it, it it's so hard to support Teresa when Bravo is not putting everything out there as it's supposed to be. Like what happened when Teresa, you know, bring everyone together with the lawyer it looked like a dumb reunion it looked like nothing was happening but in reality they were shown text messages they were shown timelines they were shown like, screenshots they were shown everything that Teresa needs in order to justify why she hates margaret joseph so much and it is annoying that going into the season finale, none of that is being shown again by Bravo. And the Bravo keeps cutting shit and cutting shit, you know, and it kind of like doesn't make sense. I thought, look, this season finale was a mess, okay? It was, it was bad edit. It was, it was poor produced, you know. I, I didn't enjoy it whatsoever, you know. And even though, Margaret got exposed, still there is that little bit of a feeling of like, why was not everything really mentioned, you know? And the thing is like a lot of things were mentioned in that reunion that we are not seeing. I don't know why. I don't know who, if you are going to reboot the whole shit, who are you protecting? Why are you keep doing this over and over and over, right? Um, the reason why Teresa doesn't give a shit about Jackie Goldschneider meeting with Louis X one time is because she already know a bunch of things going into this situation, you know? 
and because she understand why Jackie did it, which is the exact reason that Jackie actually did or, or, or uh, said at the episode, you know? And Teresa is like, I'm going to give her that pass because we were being nasty to each other. And I understand why she met with her. But, but at the end of the day, Jackie did not do anything. And it was so hard how Margaret just took that little thing and twist everything. And again, she was able to like push Jackie to the front and turn everything with her little minions around her, you know. So like it looks like Jackie was the bad one. And it's like, no, but she's not. Yeah, she did a shitty thing like three years ago, you know. Margaret has been communicating with Louis X for years. And we have talked about it for years. Bloggers and bloggers and bloggers have been talking about this for years. We know the kind of person that Margaret is. Not only Louis X, she has contacted every single person around with every single housewife tried to dig up dirt and have it right there ready to push it, to push the bottom, you know, when she needed, when she wants to destroy someone. And that's why so many people are so afraid of her because she has a way to get information absolutely everyone. Don't come here and tell me that you do not talk to bloggers when you did a whole unauthorized uh, interview with Up and Adam. And we all saw it. And, and Adam was made taking that down by Margaret because Bravo was like, what the fuck did you just do? You are not authorized to do that, okay? Margaret has been sending gifts to other bloggers out there. She has been seen with other bloggers out there. Now, the problem is not being with bloggers. Every, I have said this before. Every single housewife talks to bloggers. Every single Bravo celebrity have their favorite bloggers. Bloggers move the stories. Bloggers talk to the fans. We know what is really going on out there. The problem is not the bloggers. The problem is that you are lying and lying and lying and are not capable of taking accountability of all the shit that you have been doing for years. And right now, this season finale flops so hard because they let her get away with that again and that's the part that i don't understand okay just like bravo caught danielle throwing the picture to uh jennifer aiding you know then they caught a bunch of things and now it looks messy it's like they want to blame everything on jackie when jackie at the end of the day had nothing to do with it to the point that today at this moment Teresa judice and jennifer aiding are very good friends with Jackie and Evan Goldschneider, okay? Because they understand what was going on. They know, but the proofs that Margaret was behind everything are out there. Everything is out there. They have everything, okay? And Margaret is just, I don't know if she's trying to save face. I don't know. I mean, at some point, karma is just going to get to her, okay? Um, I, yeah. I, I feel like a little bit disappointed with the season finale. You know, I think that they should, I don't know why, or I don't know how this shit get filmed, you know, but at the end of the day, it was like, like they let everyone go. Oh, you don't want to talk anymore? Okay, don't talk anymore, baby. Bitch, they know that this was going to be the season finale. They know that this is the moment. Go hard on it. You know what? Take <coughs> all the knives away. Don't put any crystal on the table. And then just Go at it, like scream at each other, throw everything. But it's, oh, it's that thing that annoys me so much. It's like, and, and I have to tell, I, I have to this time, you know, also say it about Teresa, that, that, you know, it's like you have the information, you have the thing there, but you don't say it. No one says anything. And everything is cryptic. And everything is like, I don't really want to go there. Go there, bitch. Every single one of them, you need to go there. You have to put everything out there. But they didn't. And that's why the season finale flopped. And that's why a lot of people are feeling like, what the fuck was that? You know? And now we're going to have to wait and see if they're going to allow Teresa to show all the receipts that she actually have, which are like real receipts that Margaret 
has been in contact with so many people and staring so much shit for years or if they don't you know we just time will tell time will tell okay <sighs> i'm exhausted my weed is exhausted like leon will say you know like i am so 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 tired i'm done you know with new jersey with the toxicity of new jersey one last time i'm hoping that it is a a, a cash shake up that they keep teresa without teresa there is no new jersey uh they kept jennifer aiding and they keep dolores catania and i want them to keep jennifer fessler because she has proven to be a really good housewife and then fire all of those other girls they don't deserve shit danielle she is aggressive af rachel and her ninja looking total man whatever you know girl i, I just i can't with them margaret and melissa it needs to be a goodbye it needs to be a goodbye um there are a couple of things here and there i want to read you for example all about the truth said what killed me is margaret acting like she communicated with louis x after Teresa communicated with margaret's ex bff it's simply not true margaret was communicating with the ex two years prior and Teresa meet up with the ex bff knowing she will get confirmation that margaret was doing this and that's exactly what happened also who gives a fuck that they met with the ex bff that's not important everyone was talking with to, to anyone but for you to go and insert yourself with a legal case with a crazy lady just to destroy Teresa and louis that is completely different okay so they, they, Margaret and Melissa really try to push this narrative of like, well, I mean, she, she talked to like the ex-BFF. No one cares about an ex-BFF, you know? No one cares about an ex-BFF. And she didn't even give that much of an information anyways. Now, um, <sighs> Jennifer Aiden also um, was talking about the altercation with Danielle. And she said, how convenient that they cut out what she said about my husband first, triggering me to say that about her husband. Everyone there hear her and they all told her he should have never mentioned my husband first. But since you didn't see, see that figure, I share. Yes, Daniel started the whole thing, just like last time, just like always. Okay, why? because she is TLC. Danielle Corral is not Bravo, okay? And yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think that what else can we talk about? It's the finale, it's the end, you know? And now, I mean, we have that wannabe reunion next Sunday. We're probably gonna be talking a little bit. I don't have high expectations of it because I feel that Bravo is just, I don't know, I don't know who's working there. Honestly, like, I have no idea who's working there because they're doing so many mistakes but yeah that's it the real housewife of new jersey are over they are done and we have to brace ourselves no matter if you love Teresa, jennifer dolores margaret melissa rachel or danielle people are going to be leaving this show and now we know it and now we have to be prepared for it so let me know what you guys think on the comments below you know that this is an open channel even though i know there is a lot of toxic people if you like who you like let me know in the comments below what do you think is going to happen next how are we moving forward from this and guys with that we are done with uh, the show we are done with today you know even though it is late i'm gonna give you the vibe of the day because maybe we need to go to bed with a little bit of positivity am i right and the vibe of today says a message from your future it all worked out you made it through everything and you are the happiest you have ever been you have your manifestations you have your blessings you have received all that you have been praying for your story had a few twists and turns but that was all part of the plan to bring you to where you belong your soul was guiding you this whole time you trust you believe and you kept going congratulations
to you. <sighs> All right, guys, with that, thank you for being here. I love you. Remember, if you want to get your roses from Rose Forever <coughs> or candles, because now they have candles, like over here, don't forget to go to the link on the description below, okay? You don't have to put a discount code anymore because as, as, as long as you click on that link, you will automatically receive a very, very special discount from me to you to get your roses, okay? So just go and get them right now. If you want Liquid IV, you can get it also down there. If you want to get a personalized message from me to you, you can book me through Cameo or you can get any of my Bravo merch down below. Um, don't forget to follow me on my social media. You can find me anywhere as Real Andy BH, Real Andy BH. And don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow on another The Real Andy of the Show. See ya! Bye!